वेलकम टू सी एस आई टी वी कोचिन टूडे वी हैव डॉक्टर उदय खंडोलकर वन ऑफ द एमिनेंट कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम बैंगलोर ही इज नाउ एसोसिएटेड विद नारायण हृदयालय हॉस्पिटल वेलकम सर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट योर टॉक इन सी एस आई कोचिन अबाउट द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ब्लीडिंग कॉम्प्लिकेशन आफ्टर थ्रोमोलाइसिस सो आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू सर हाउ कॉमनली यू सी दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉम्प्लिकेशन आफ्टर थ्रोमोलिसिस वेल इट डिपेंड्स ऑन विच टाइप ऑफ थ्रोम्बोलिटिक थेरेपी which agent you are using generally the incidence is between uh, 0.5% mm -hmm. to 2% of uh, patients who receive thrombolysis mm -hmm. it also depends on which type of uh, center you are looking at the statistics it would be slightly higher in a tertiary center where there are a lot of complicated cases being referred mm -hmm. patients who undergo angiography and after angiography if there is a issue about acute myocardial infarction you can do angioplasty or give a thrombolytic therapy and in these patients where after procedure patient develops mi then bleeding complications would be slightly higher uh, bleeding complications are generally classified as minor and major there are different types of cl cl classification mm -hmm. generally severe uh, uh, bleeding complication Uh, bleeding complication is considered as severe if there is a tremendous fall in the hemoglobin of more than 5 uh, grams per mm -hmm. uh, 100 ml or if it is giving rise to any hemodynamic compromise mm -hmm. or if there is any intracranial or intra abdominal bleeding mm -hmm. which is difficult to control these type of bleedings are considered as major bleeding right any superficial bleeding uh, in the skin uh echymosis could occur these are all considered as minor bleeding and minor bleeding can occur fairly more common because of displacement of iv lines mm -hmm. and all that but they are generally not considered very important mm -hmm. and if you include these minor bleedings then the incidence could be slightly higher right but sir. not much consequence to the patient right sir 